Welcome in guys to yet another World of Warcraft video on this channel. Today we are going over something that is a little different but something that we've actually seen before in a different format. So some of you guys that have been around gold making for a little longer might remember the good old turn-ins of like the, the PvP Warfront turn-ins that we had in BFA where you had specific materials that you went down, you turned it in and then you know, you'd get some reputation, some other items, and, and, and relating things like that. And uh, if you were to buy those materials a couple of days before and you'd get the right one, then you'd be able to actually sell that on the auction house for quite a bit of profit because a lot of people would go down there and actually turn these things in. Now, here in uh, 9.2 on Seraph Mortis, there is something that is similar but not the same. We have a mount, and this is a mount quest line, and this is a little patient Bufonid, a Bufonid, Funid, whatever. It's a basically a big old cute frog. Uh, we've had these before, but a lot of people are doing these missions because some of them do actually give. Uh, I, I think some people reported getting some reputation and such. I don't think you do, but either way, uh, people will randomly want to complete this because they think it's a part of some glorious quest line but then there's also going to be the people that actually just want to complete this for the mount it's a very easy mount to get and the like what's required is very cheap now the reason that i want to talk to you guys about this is because when you look at this right here you can see it's a seven day um seven day min well a minimum of seven days so it's one of these quests each day now this has already begun for a lot of people so when you see this video will probably already be far into it um you can see that obviously we have vestport honey this was just um the first day where we went out and collected this honey this quest items you can't buy that but then you can see tenebra's ribs and strata club elysian fade and proto flesh now tenebra's ribs was on the day that i'm recording this this was what we had NA is one day ahead of EU, so depending on where you play, it might be one or the other. But if you get on this uh, for in time for Stratocloth, in time for Elysian Fades, in time for Proto Flesh, you are going to make a lot of gold. Because today, alone on my server, I know my server specifically is a little different than most people's servers, but it's a full populated server, Terran Mill and EU, and I sold 90,000 Tenebus ribs, and I even sold, I think, 5,000 of them for uh, 15 gold each, and I bought them for 90 silver. Now, Strata Club, you can see here, the turn-in is 200, um, and you can, you can imagine if... Foul I'm dying in the background, that's okay. You can imagine... That if thousands of people are going to be wanting to turn this in, which is going to be the case, we are going to see a lot of Strata Club disappear when this comes out. Um, I'm trying to get this out in time for Strata Club. I don't know if it's going to be in time for Strata Club um, on NA, but it'll definitely be in time for EU. Um, but obviously then after that, we have Elysian Fates and Proto Flesh. And then we have two different vendor materials, which you can also pick up uh, and do whatever you want with. But I wanted to tell you guys about this because obviously not everybody is going to get on this uh, turning quest line instantly. So along the way, people are going to be wanting to turn these in. Now, obviously, the amount of people is probably going to go down a lot, but it would probably be worth it to at least think about this and look out for it on your servers. Uh, especially low puffs and medium puffs that don't have as much material. Um, but that's basically all this video is. I, I hope this guy, uh, the, this little video helps you guys out. And uh, if all you want is the little amount, then this works for an explanation for that as well. Um, if you're wondering where this uh, quest line starts, it starts in Haven. Uh, it's actually right around the little water pond. Uh, it's very, very easy to find. You will literally not be able to miss it. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. So until the next one. See you guys.